Now, one of the areas hit the hardest during yesterday's storm was Forest Brook. Our live team coverage of the cleanup continues with News 13 Savannah Denton. She joins us now live to tell us how cleanup efforts have been going for an apartment complex near Arrowhead Golf Course. Hey, Savannah. Hey, Patsy. Yeah, I'm, I'm live right by Lake, um, Flint Lake apartments where all day long cleanup efforts have been underway after very large trees, some well over 20 feet tall, snapped up at the top and crashed to the ground. Crews have had to use large machinery to break one tree into pieces before being able to move it away from the apartment it crushed. The damage across the apartment complex ranges from some residents just having a few shingles missing to others having entire windows blown out and large holes in the walls. One resident didn't see the tornado but says what he heard and saw after it passed through was enough. Just the sound, I'll never forget the sound about how, how ferocious that was, that wind, and, and the sound of the stuff hitting the house. It was just, it was an incredible experience. And like I said, I was, I was scared, I mean, I was scared. That was not, not a good thing to go through. Mm -hmm. And it's so quick, all this destruction so quick. I saw the National Weather Service leaving Flint Lake Apartments around 1.45 this afternoon, and as Frank said, they should have those official results out shortly. And coming up on News 13 at 6, you'll hear from one resident who says he saw the tornado touch down just 50 feet from his front door. Reporting live in Forest Brook, Savannah Denton, News 13.